Oh, nice. Oh, this is the rotisserie. Oh, it's all burning wood too. All wood fire. Oh, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Seoul, South Korea. And there's this restaurant that specializes in rotisserie, Korean style rotisserie chicken, which is stuffed with, I believe, some spices and herbs and glutinous rice. This is a place I had on my list that I desperately wanted to come to. Uh, the next time I was in Seoul. So here we are, we're in Seoul, and we're on our way to go check out Korean rotisserie chicken on the next level. Well, we're in this area of town which is called Yongsan, and it's actually not that far away. It should just be about a 10 or 15 minute train ride away, but we need to go to the station. Take please. Come in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really like a hole in the wall. And you come here for the chicken, the chicken only, which they are roasting on the outside. But you get in here, we got a table. Luckily we got here early enough where they still have tables. Uh, they have just signatures of all the people that have been here all over the walls. They already have kimchi and all the seasonings all laid out on your table. Oh, it looks such a such a cool spot. So we got a table here in the corner, although it's already almost almost full. We met with the, the waiter who's taking care of us. He was really nice. He's like, how many chickens? So basically, that's the only question you get asked. That's, that's all there is to eat here are the chickens, and that's what you come here for. Oh, nice. Oh, this is the rotisserie. Oh, it's all burning wood, too. All wood fire. What are the chickens stuffed with? Rice? Uh, rice. Rice, ginseng, garlic, garlic. garlic. and so on. <laughs> okay, and some, some secret seasonings. There's small chicken stuffed with, with glutinous rice, with ginseng, with garlic. Smells incredible. And what's amazing is they burn only over wood. Wood fire just sizzling away. This must be 50 chickens in here at once. Oh, that smells so good. So the chickens are already roasting outside. So as soon as you sit down, literally within a minute, the chicken is at your table. I think the, I mean, the reason you have to wait a long time here is if there's a line and you're waiting to get in because it's just a small little place. And that's why some people will wait, wait hours to get in here, in here. But luckily we got here like about 5.30 before they get too packed. I love how simple it is. Everything's on your table. Oh, and by the way, cheers. Oh, Ying. Ying, cheers. Come by. Definitely like personal sized, stuffed with glutinous rice. How should we go about even tearing? Oh, this is so this is all the, the chicken breast on the outside. Oh, oh it smells so incredibly good. The garlic, the ginseng on the inside, tear it apart. Look at the way that just, I mean, just with chopsticks, the meat just like completely tears off. Oh man, I don't even, I'm, what should we start with? Maybe just grab the drumstick, the drumstick. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, let's just try the chicken before dipping in, exploring all the sauces. It is so tender, just completely falls off the bone. The bone is just completely clean on that first bite. And the taste of the chicken is so creamy, so flavorful infused with the ginseng and the garlic and the roasting fire because that's not just like a machine roastery they're using only wood burning mm. Mm. it's not even salty i mean we haven't even explored all these sauces but that's tasty that is delicious oh yeah one of the things that you'll notice especially with korean fried chicken with chicken in korea you always get radish and let, let's explore more of the chicken Okay, let's tear into this chicken breast area and maybe explore some of the sauces. What is this yellow sauce? Try some of the yellow sauce. Oh, whoa, that's sticky. Almost looks like honey. Mmm, like a mustard sauce. Oh, it's really good. Sweet mustard, sweet mustard glaze, honey mustard. That's what it is. Mmm. And the chicken breast itself remains so juicy, moist. I love the texture. It's not dried out at all. Mm. 
delicious. It tastes with some of the kimchi. Okay, back into the chicken. Let's move into the, the sticky rice. Or the glutinous rice, which is stuffed into the cavity. You see ginseng in there, the garlic. You smell the garlic. You can see it's kind of yellow because it's absorbed all of the chicken fat as well. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Is that a, maybe a jujube? <laughs> okay. Wow. Do not take a huge bite of that. It is still on fire with the chicken. Mm. And that is a, tastes like a plum, maybe at one of those Korean plums. Um, has a little bit of sweetness, but then at the same time, that sweetness has been released into the chicken. Man, that, that sticky rice is so good. So glutinous. Um, absorbed with all of that chicken fat as it cooks and remains so hot, filled into the cavity. The, the glutinous sticky rice stuffing. Mm. Delicious herbal. And I think what I like about it, it's, just, it's not um, salty at all. The chicken itself is not salty. The rice inside is not salty. But that's why you eat it with kimchi. That's why you have salt on the side for dipping. And you have the sauces on the side for dipping as well. It's simple, but really tasty. There's such a fun food to eat as well, just tearing apart a whole chicken. Okay, I'm gonna grab some more of the some more of the chicken. Let's try the other sauce. Oh man. Okay. If everybody could have skin, you would be happy as well. The skin is so good. Let's try that red sauce. Oh, it's also really sticky. Perfect. Just completely sticks to the chicken because of that texture, that stickiness. Mm. A little bit of a sweet chili sauce with sesame seeds in it. The sauce is mild, not overpowering. It doesn't take it like doesn't overpower at all the chicken. And then I'm just gonna go in with the salt. Mm. Mm. I love just the fragrance of the pure salt. Not changing the flavor of the chicken at all, just enhancing it. And then when you chase it with this kimchi, this kimchi is so good. Uh, I think it's more of a... More of that fresh stage of kimchi where it's ripened maybe just a couple of days, so it's just starting to formulate that lactic acid, that, that sourness, and yet at the same time it's more of like a, a Napa cabbage chili salad because it still remains that really crisp texture of the fresh kimchi in the combination. And chasing it with the radish, the different textures. I think it's just a fun food to eat with friends, uh, with family. It's a bit of a bar food, um, hole in the wall, fresh, fun to eat, and tasty. I think the red sauce the red sauce is quite mild, but I think it's a type of gochujang. The well, gochujang, the Korean um, pepper paste. But it's mild, it's a little bit sweet. Mm. Chicken is awesome. And there's another one of my favorite Korean dishes, the ginseng chicken soup, which is stuffed with glutinous rice and ginseng and herbs then boiled into a soup. That's one of my favorite dishes, and this is almost like the roasted version of that. Oh, the skin is incredible. Travel and food videos, and I'll see you on the next video.